In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can combine some of ICT concepts. So now let's get into the video. So first of all, let's say we're in a market maker buy model and price keeps making higher lows and higher highs. So in that case, we of course have to have a smart money reversal where price reverses from. So let's just say we have been a, in a sell program, then price touches a higher time frame PD array and then starts to make a reversal to the upside. So in that case, we could use our standard deviation on this manipulation leg or time distortion when price is on the way down to the smart money reversal. So this we could use our standard deviations on. Then we see price going higher and make a market structure shift up here. So already here we have two ICT concepts, or actually three, because of the higher time frame PD array. So the first one is the higher time frame PD array, second one is the standard deviation, and the third one is the market structure shift. So the next one we're going to use is, let's just say, a bounce price range, which price could make right down here. So we have sell, sell side of the curve and then buy side of the curve, or sell, the, sell side delivery and then buy side delivery. Then price makes a retracement down into the bounce price range, and then goes after taking out the reason high we just made. So in that case, we can combine some of the ICT concepts with the standard deviations, and the entry we could of course use with the balance price range. So let's just say we want to enter the balance price range, put our stop loss at the smart money reversal, and then target the minus one standard deviation. In that case, we used two ICT concepts to frame a trade entry. And then of course, when price hits the smart money reversal again, or touches a point where price is going to make a reversal, all these lows that we've made right here, the higher lows, are going to be low resistance liquidity. So then when price touches the smart money reversal, what happens is price takes out all these lows down here and returns to the original consolidation. So right here on the daily time frame, we see the price entered a PDA array within a discount this daily further gap. So already here we have used two ICT concepts. So now we can go down into lower time frame as this would be looking like the sell side of the curve. And now price should be getting buy side delivery or making the buy side of the curve. We also see that we have a balanced price range. So in that case, there must be low resist liquidity when price is going to make buy side delivery. So now let's go into the lower time frame and see what that looks like. So down here on the lower time frame or on the hourly, we see the price made this smart money reversal or when price starts to deliver from the higher time frame PD array. So now price should have, or it should be easy for price taking out some of these highs that we made on the sell side of the curse because they're mostly going to be low resistance liquidity above these highs. Or there's going to be sell stops above these highs. So right here we see price makes this smart money reversal. And then after that, we see price makes a failure swing low, failing to take out this low. And now what do we see? We see that we have these relative equal highs up here, which we could consider low resistance liquidity because retail traders, whenever price hit this area, they're going to think there's going to be resistance in the price and price going lower, taking out potentially these lows down here. So in that case, we as small money concept traders or ICT traders, we're going to target these relative equal highs. So now let's go down into a lower time frame and find a trade entry based off this being our drawn liquidity. So down here on the 15 minute time frame, what do we see? We see this right here from this low up to this high. What is this? This is a balanced price range, as most of us know. And if we draw the consequent encouragement, we see how price respected that. Made a small mohawk for it. And after we did that, price started to deliver higher, taking out what? These relative equal highs we have up here, or low resistance quality. And what do we see after that? We see price continues to go higher, taking out all the low resistance quality we made down to the smart money reversal, which we have down here. So that's how we can use these different kinds of ICT concepts to frame a trade entry. So how many ICT concepts did we use to frame this trade entry? So first of all, we used the Fibonacci tool to determine the premium and the discount. So let's just count that as one. And then we also had the high time frame PD array 
So now that's two. Then we also had the low resistance liquidity or the equal highs. So let's just say that's three. And then we had this balanced price range, which was our main trade entry, and that we could use as four. So we had four different kinds of ICT concepts that we, that we used to frame this trade entry. So let's just say we were to enter off of this balanced price range on the 15 minute time frame. We can enter when price so just to have it, but in this case, let's just use the consequent encouragement as price made a small mohawk for it. And then put our stop loss at this low, and then of course target our drawn liquidity, which is all the way up here. And that will make a nice risk reward ratio of 5.5. So right here on the higher time frame, we see that we have these perfect equal highs, and we also have relative equal highs actually. So this is a perfect drawn liquidity for us. So this is where the AM session most likely is going to target. So in that case, we can go into the lower time frame. So in that case, let's just go down into the one minute time frame. And what do we see here in the one minute time frame? In the AM session, we see the price. Just remove it. We see the price created this inversion value gap model. So first of all, we see that we have internal raised liquidity up here. which we see price does not take out before making the retracement down into this inversion value gap within here. So in that case, we could enter off of this inversion value gap. Let's just say we were to enter at the retracement and put our stop loss at this low, and then of course target the equal highs we have up here. In that case, that will make a 2.1 risk reward ratio. And we have, of course, all our criteria, which price does not take out internal raised liquidity before making retracement, single end version further gap, always drawn liquidity, and etc. So in that case, this was how we could frame this trade entry. We could, of course, take parcels at internal raised liquidity and then take everything off at the equal highs, as that was our main drawn liquidity. So now that we touch the smart one reversal as the equal highs is our main objective. See up here, this would most likely be the smart money reversal because price took out all the sell stops. So in that case, all this down here becomes low resistance liquidity, all these lows that we gathered. And what do we see price do? Price takes out all these different lows, which we want to see. As it is low resistance liquidity, and it also confirms that price is willing to go lower. So how many ICT concepts did we use and how did we combine these ICT concepts? So first of all, let's just go back to the one hour. So on the one hour time frame, we framed the drawn liquidity. So that's how we use the equal highs as our main drawn liquidity for a potential trade entry. So that's the first ICT concept that we use. So now let's go over to the lower time frame again. So down here at the one minute, we used the one minute to frame our trade entry based on this equal, these equal highs would be our main drawn liquidity. So then we used, of course, our inversion failure gap as our trade entry, and then, of course, use internal range liquidity as our main target. And whenever price touches the internal range liquidity, let's just say we were to frame our trade entry again. And whenever price touches the internal range liquidity, we move our stop loss to break even as then price could potentially make a reversal after taking out the internal range liquidity. But in my opinion, if we have these equal highs right up here, then in price just reversing after taking out internal range liquidity would be most unlikely. So then what do we see? Price right at 9.24 takes out the internal range liquidity, and at 9.30 we take out most of the low resistance liquidity we got down here. So we used a ICT concept to frame a trade entry, and a ICT concept for a drawn liquidity. So that's how we could combine these different kinds of ICT concepts.